So this is the fan I want to use to cool my uh, stereo in my car. It's an Enermax uh, in Louisville bearing. This is one of the earliest magnetic floating bearing fans. Um, you can get them online for like five or six bucks now. I have this duct tape on my thumb in case you're wondering from these videos. It gets rid of planter's warts and when I was putting the exhaust on my car I got a huge gash from a coat hanger and it got like super deeply infected. But anyway, a bunch of companies make these bearing styles now so you don't have to get, uh, and from the from this you don't have to buy them from Intermax anymore and I, I don't even like Intermax anymore because I think their new ones are ugly. They have so many LEDs and they have Intermax written over and over all the way around on the inside and it's just like they're super gaudy. But the way it works, so you can see a copper coil right there. There's four copper coils. One, two, three, four. And so there's like a steel shaft in the center and they repel it. So it's floating sideways wise it's completely magnetically floating and then when it's spinning it lifts itself up it's pressing this way because fans always blow out where the supports so like there's a support structure here that means it blows out on this side so it's lifting itself up off of i think there's some sort of point and cup in there or something like that and but so basically it's not I'm not sure on the exact details but it's not touching at all there's no friction besides air and in fact these blades can even pop off it's a very weak fan and it's not pulse width modulated so you can't change the speed of it but it's perfect for just like things that just need a little bit of cooling but not a ton um, it's completely silent it's a slow speed fan so I want to put this in my car dashboard above my radio um, because it gets so hot and that way I can put it fully into the dashboard and not worry about overheating. I could also put it down under the glove box because there's there's a hole behind the radio. There's like a hole down to the right where the wires are coming in. I could maybe squeeze it in there so it's not so ugly right up in the dashboard and so I have more room for gauges but either way I might just throw it in there in the front temporarily or something just for fun. And uh, yep.